Well, I'm happy to bring you up again into the mountains of North Idaho. And what we have here is going to be the start of an old channel wash. And what I want to show you is like an ancient riverbed here. This side of the gulch that I just came down is on the west side of the gulch. And if you look at the rocks that are laying around here, you notice that primarily all the rocks are these flat, jagged pieces of shale or old dis dis exposed bedrock that's just falling apart out of the mountain here. Now as thousands of years have gone by, this is all eroded down to create the mountains and the streams and the rivers that we have today. And what I want to notice, I want you all to notice here, is that millions of years ago when there was a river up this high, it probably come around that side of the mountain, coming back around this side of the mountain over here, and would wash up against this side of the mountain. And the difference is, if you'll notice over there it was all jagged and rocky, if we walk over to this side, almost immediately we can start to see that some of the rocks over here are rounded and have the appearance that they've been sitting, or at least had some kind of erosive or erosion process that's been going on for a long time. And here's some of those give you kind of an idea. I'll knee it down. Look at these rocks. <sighs> you've got rounded rocks all over in here. And sure you've got your chunky pieces of bedrock too. But mostly you've got these nice round pieces of rock. Now that doesn't always mean that you're in a gold bearing spot. But if you're in a gold bearing area and there's been gold found there before, well there is only one way to explain how rounded, smooth river rock got transported thousands of feet up a mountain to end up on the side of a road like this. So, to the non-learned man, this is just round rock sitting on the side of the road. But to the gold prospector, this is all potential gold dirt right here. And when you see all this, and you're up in the mountains, hundreds or thousands of feet up from the creek below or the road below, you want to take notice of that stuff because it could lead you to some good find. Now right here is a nice flat round. I don't know why it's flat, it's round. Flat round. There's a big old piece of quartz right here and I don't know if I could pry it out of the ground here or not, but look at this. Look at that. That's a big old round egg-shaped rock. I mean, that's pretty much solid quartz all the way through. Look at that. I mean, there is no way that this old hunk of quartz would have turned this egg shaped Ugh. if it weren't for some kind of an erosive process. Now wouldn't that be amazing if that was just a big old hunk of gold? So, for those of you that are in a gold bearing area looking for a good spot, don't forget those ancient riverbeds where there used to be gold, or that used to be on the bottom a river millions of years ago and now it's eroded away to the valley floor below leaving you nothing but a mountain forest surface road that you could drive your jeep on or your four-wheeler or your ATV or whatever have you In this spot I chose to do a little bit of digging because it kind of stops right here there's a nice little draw I don't know if it's really a draw but kind of a uh, the hill's kind of eroding away right there. And there's another gulch that starts right there. And it actually kind of stops right here. You can see there's a lot of round rock laying around all over. This is pretty much where this little start of the deposit, this old ancient riverbed, the old channel wash, it's pretty much where it stops right here. And then it goes on down, way down there where there's creeks and uh, some other ravines and stuff. Presumably it all washes down that way and then picks up again where this hill goes around the mountain and on the other side where the river would wash and push against this side of the hill, the east side of the hill, as it's flowing downstream. So I just thought I'd show that to you so you all could get an example of what to look for when you're up in the mountains and you happen to come across round river rock. Well that did just didn't get there by accident and there was no way in hell that somebody freaking put all that rock there 
and drug it up the mountain for it to be there. So if you see it and you're in a gold bearing zone, by God, take a bucket of that home with you and pan it out. You never know what might be inside.